All right, we're going to have a little look at the voice trigger editor. A voice trigger is a spoken phrase that you say to voice attack. In turn, it presses a button and plays a sound. It's the whole point of the voice packs and the voice triggers themselves or voice commands can be seen behind this box here on the screen in our voice commands quick reference guide, which you can download and print if need be from our website, hsvoicepacks.com. All right, let's have a look at the voice trigger editor in action. Protocol override, customize my settings. Opening. Okay, here's how you open the new voice trigger editor. And incidentally, this is available for Microsoft Flight Sim, Star Wars Quadrants, No Man's Sky, Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, as well as Smithy, uh, which is for stuff like Battlefield 5 and Call of Duty. I'll just expand this voice trigger editor out. I'm going to call them voice commands. I know it's called voice trigger editor in here, but it's really a voice command editor. Anything that's spoken is listed in this tree on the left. And incidentally, there are over 10,000 of them for Elite Dangerous. Yes, we've been very busy with that. And you can drill down in here and look at all of those uh, lovely, funky uh, voice commands. We've got everything in here. So um, the other nice thing about this particular command editor is the way that you can navigate around this said tree. So I'm only looking for a couple of commands. I was playing the game earlier. Um, I've got uh, I've, I've got Brent Spiner's Vega on helm control. I've got Michael Dawn's Legion on tactical, and I fancied a bit of a Star Trek moment. So if if you like that, then this is how you can change things up. So first of all, I'm going to look for the impulse commands, which are very Star Trek, and we've included them in the voice pack. So when I type it in the keyword box down here. Um, anything that's got impulse in it as a, as a command, a voice command, like a quarter impulse, half impulse, they'll all be listed in yellow. They'll all be highlighted in yellow. Okay. Um, so what we can do here is I can have a look at the impulse commands individually. And on the right hand side, you can see how they've been designed. So quarter impulse is set speeds to 25%, half, 50%, three quarter and full impulse. Yeah, same right and you can see uh, that in each one we've got the spoken commands themselves these are the actual voice triggers spoken lines for selected trigger so if you say this it will trigger the command quarter impulse and we've got them for quarter half three quarter and full now to edit one of these I bung in a colon which is next to the L key in the UK it is that's for sure and then I can just type in what I want as my spoken command now Vega is on helm control, but I'm going to do this, which is it's a bit naughty, but I'm allowed to do it. I'm having fun. Mr. Data, quarter impulse. So let's do that. And we can click validate. And as soon as you click validate, it highlights it in blue there, which means it's been edited. And then secondly, it adds the voice command to the voice pack. So now, whenever you say Mr. Data Quarter Impulse, he will respond with whatever's been coded for this command set here. It's brilliant. So you just click Apply on there. Let's give that a shot. Closing. OK. Mr. Data Quarter Impulse. <laughs> so he's just responded to that command. Let's try it again. Mr. Data Quarter Impulse. One quarter impulse. Mr. Data, quarter impulse. Acknowledged. Mr. Data, quarter impulse. Quarter impulse. So he's got lots of different varied responses for that voice trigger. Um, and that's one that we just made. Protocol override, customize my settings. So let's go back in and have a look at that command just once more. And of course, now that I've edited, as I said earlier, it was highlighted in blue. Um, not only is it highlighted in blue in, in the information about the voice trigger, but it's also telling us in this tree here that we've got something edited in this area. Now it's pointing to engines, so we can easily navigate back to where we last edited. All right. But once you've done lots of editing, there's going to be lots of blue bits in there, but trust me, it's easier to find stuff this way. All right. And also, if you wanted to find it, you know that you did it under Impulse Engine. You could always search for it. And of course, what happens then is you get this funky yellow over blue, 
so you know which one you've edited. It's really nice, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. So we're going to take that out, okay? Don't really want it. Uh, and we're going to click Done on there. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're not finished editing. What we're going to do, we're going to leave that one. I just want to try something. So I've edited that one. Can I go and do something else now with maybe deploy hard points? Let's search for that one. That's deploying my weapons. These are all the terms that you say to deploy weapons. This time, just for fun, I'm going to do this. Mr. Worth, deploy weapons. And we'll see how that sounds. Let's validate that. It's got in the list below. It's hi highlighted in blue now, which is fabulous. Apply, done, save changes. And now what we'll do. Mr. Wharf, deploy weapons. Deploying armaments. Excellent. So that voice trigger works as well. Protocol override, customize my settings. Opening. Let's go back into the voice trigger editor. And we've now got the combat highlighted in blue, as well as the deploy hard points, which has been customized. And yeah, we can still see it. Uh, I want to undo that. Let's say, I, let's say I've done that. I, I've deleted everything out and started again. And we do this. Uh, what happens now when I validate? And we'd only have that in the list, and it's like, oh God, I, yeah, I really regret doing that, and, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back to what it was when I first got the pack. So in each individual command, you can just do this: C click the reset button. It will give you the warning: reset to original line, which is all of that, and of course, all of these will come back up, and you can just add in deploy hard points, Mr. Wharf, if you wanted, right? So very, very easy to navigate in this, very easy to add commands and change stuff. It, it's, it's really nice. Um, if there's anything in there that you'd like even more, do let us know in the comments below. Uh, we'd like to hear from you, but in real terms, this is just a godsend. It's, it's wonderful to use. I've been enjoying using it. Uh, and also, just, just before I head off, um, it will change what was called English Singularity which was the profile name, into English Singularity Custom. All right? So any editing you've done, it will change it into custom, but also it will keep the original English Singularity in place. So if you ever just want to go back to the normal profile that's not been edited, you can. And you can switch between your customizations whenever you wish. And this now is the... Well, this is now just a blank one ready for you to continue editing it so if you want to make changes again you can do exactly what you've seen right i hope that's helpful it was a quick and dirty video uh, really we tried to get this done last week uh, just before the newsletter went out we didn't have time we really don't have time to do very much given what we've got uh, on our plates at the moment so this was just a quick and dirty video just to just to show you how to use the new voice trigger editor i hope it's helpful